Hello and welcome to Yuki's Anime Review. Today I will be reviewing Hakuoki Episode 9, Wake of the Slaughter. Oh boy, that does not sound like a good title. So almost a year has passed, it's now January 1867, winter, and we first find out that Ito is planning something. That sly bastard, he, she, person. Oh, I'm Ito-san. He's been trying to recruit the captains of the Shinsengumi, mainly Nagakura and Saito, but at least we know that Nagakura told him to go himself. And then it all of a sudden skips to March, and Chizuru is being attacked by a fury that got loose at night, and he wanted her blood. He ends up hurting her arm by cutting it, and she's bleeding all over the place, which causes him to go absolutely insane. And of course, the men run in and save her, and like, stab, 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 stab. And then Son and Son comes in, and he says, oh, I'm really, really sorry about that. Oopsies. And he touches her blood, and is like, ah, I'm turning into a zombie devil. And he's super creepy, and he's like, ah. I love your blood, Chizuru. And so everyone's like, oh no! And they're about to attack him, but he all of a sudden regains his senses. And they're like, whoa, why did that happen? And of course, at that moment, Ito-san comes in and starts freaking out. He's like, oh my god! Son and son, you're alive! Ah! Nobody told me. I am so, so butthurt about this. So butthurt. And Kanosan has to go and calm him down as he's crying like a whiny little baby. The next day, he decides to leave the Shinsengumi and take some men with him. And this is where we find out that Heisuke and Saito are going with him. We don't really find out why Saito's going with him, so I think that he might be going to spy on Ito-san under Hijikata or Kondo's orders. But Heisuke's going because the Shinsengumi have changed so much that he doesn't feel at home there anymore, and he doesn't believe in what they're fighting for. So Chizuru and Heisuke have quite a deep talk about his feelings and why he's leaving, and ultimately she comes to terms with him going. Because basically Heisuke's been like a big brother to her for the last couple of years since she's joined the Shinsengumi. Then and her bodyguard come to the Shinsengumi headquarters to talk to everyone about taking Chizuru with them because they can protect her better. Better than a bunch of men? Moi. I would stay with the men. Oh, but that's just me. <clears throat> so the two of them leave, fairly disappointed that Chizuru isn't going with them, but they're accepting that she will be protected by humans. Humans. Humans are apparently really dumb to these devils. So that was the first part of the episode. It was pretty good. Um, a lot happened. Heisuke and Saito left. Ito left. We find out that Chizuru's blood helped these false devils come back to their senses. So I'm thinking San and Son is going to try to take advantage of her at some point. Lo and behold, they are attacked by Shiranui, Amagiri, and Kazuma. And this time they come in and pull no punches. They're just like kicking ass left and right all over the place. The fight scene between Hijikata and Kazuma is pretty epic. They definitely used a higher budget for their fight scene, which I really appreciate. Those two men are so into Chizuru for different reasons. You can totally tell. Kazuma pretty much wins the fight by knocking Hijikata's sword out of his hand and going for the killing blow when Chizuru puts herself in between the two of them. And there's a very precious scene where they're holding each other. And Kazuma decides to back off, mostly because his manhood is hurt, he wanted Chizuru, and now she's going to stay with this human who he thinks is no good for her because she is a pure devil and should procreate with him. I wouldn't mind if she procreated with him. He's super hot. Kind of an asshole bastard type. But with a little bit of encouragement, I'm sure he could become a decent devil being. My favorite part is Kazuma's rape face when he grabs Chizuru. I'm taking you with me. Before they leave, Kazuma says, Why do you side with the humans? They will only betray you. Look at these fake devils that they have created. Is this what you want? And Chizuru says that she believes in them and that she will stay by their side. I really enjoyed this episode. We're definitely heading towards the climax of season one. I'm excited to see what the next three episodes hold. 
and I bet you are too. Things are definitely starting to pick up, getting more interesting. We're getting additional information about the devils, more about the Shinsengumi. Um, the Shinsengumi seems like it's starting to fall apart with their members leaving and them not sticking with their original goals and now they're basically just numbers in a gigantic war. So we'll see where that takes us. Maybe they'll branch off and become more like they used to be. Or everything's gonna go to hell. Who knows? So thank you for watching. My name is Yuki with Yuki's Anime Review. If you liked this video, hit the subscribe button and you can see my cute pink face all the time, anytime you want. Rewatch it, whatever. Thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Yeah! Anyways, tune in next time. Yuki out.